For you, it is Monday. <laughs> <laughs> it is Monday. <laughs> I'm Rick. And I'm Joe. And we are Spiffy Productions. Now today we are going to bring you a movie review. We're a little late on it, but deal with it. Now, fair warning. Dude, what are you doing? A uh, little bit of warning. We're definitely going to be doing some spoiler. Really, dude? We're definitely going to be doing some spoiler. Spoiler alert! We're reviewing uh, Kingsman: The Secret Service. Yes, uh, this movie came to me as a surprise, um, just because I was not expecting it to be that good. Absolutely, I, I had high hopes uh, from director Michael Vaughn who's uh, done Kick-Ass and X-Men First Class. Well, the movie stars Colin Firth, Samuel L. Jackson, Taron Egerton, Michael Caine, and Mark Strong. Now we're gonna break it down into the pros and cons. Joe, why don't you start off? Uh, with, uh, let's, let's start with the cons, and then we'll end with the pros. I think that'll be okay. best. Okay, so the cons for me, at least, um, I, I feel like sometimes in the film, Things were a little bit, uh, I guess, exaggerated. Um, I, I, I don't know if that was the you know, producer's intentions or the director's intentions, um, but there were things that kind of just, you know, throws you off, you know? It's, it's kind of, it's along the lines of like a James Bond. And then there's some things that just, you know, go overboard and it's like watching another teen flick. Well, that's yeah. definitely where that whole, like, Kick ass. Yeah. No, you know, yeah. So I don't know if it's so much of a con. I mean, it could work both ways. But, I mean, for me, it, it kind of just, you know, I, I had to, like, fit myself into place with where the film was going. And, um, yeah, I, I think that was the only thing. There was there were certain parts that were just exaggerated. But I think that also made the film really well. So I, I could add it on to a pro. If you guys caught that, too, that was the air conditioner <laughs> saying hi. Just letting you know. So the cons I had with the film as well, it kind of borders the same uh, line of the exaggeration of the film. Sometimes it just kind of felt out of place or like it kind of threw off the pacing a little bit. I, I think I was telling you before, like uh, mainly like in the fight scenes. Yeah, fight scenes, yeah. Uh, usually like in editing, sometimes the editor and the director will take out just a frame just to make the hits look harder and more impactful and just make the audience feel that hit. I think they took away too many frames because it <laughs> kind of felt kind of jump cutty yeah. or, or it felt like something was missing or something it was it happened it would be a big build up and then it would happen really quick <laughs> and I was like whoa no, it, yeah. it kind of was a little dis a little jarring mm -hmm. I should say. Other than that, though, I mean, I didn't really. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. a very generic, kind of coming of age, mentor, themed film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where I was like, at one point, I was like, Colin Firth has to yeah. die eventually, yeah. <laughs> or or get disbanded from the Kingsman. Yeah, something has to happen to him. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, I feel I feel the same way. It was it was a film that just. It, kind of caught me off guard but in a good way uh, for me the pros came directly from music uh, Henry Jackman who also did the uh, soundtrack for uh, X-Men first class and kick-ass mm -hmm. as well um, I, I think he pinpointed every type of song that you would want to hear in a fight scene or in any type of scene yeah those, um, the, the Songs they picked out for the fight they were, they were great, and, and really it was good. kind of like, it had a UK feel to it, but mm -hmm. then they just, you know, they did a little twist to it, they did a little yeah. remix. Sam Jackson's, you know, personality was really funny. Sometimes Sam Jackson... personality, he means his lisp. Yeah, his lisp, you know, sometimes he's like, not that funny, but, you know, sometimes 
He's a good guy. It, it's a good, <laughs> it's a nice break from hearing him yelling all the time. Yeah. Like motherfuckers like, and stuff like that. Goddamn snakes on his plane! Yeah. yeah, it's a nice break from, from all the yelling because he's, he's like a introvert, nerdy, uh, squeamish. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was, he was kind of guy. He's yeah. just opposite Sam Jackson, which was <laughs> which was really fun to to see. Everything else, I believe, was a a good pro uh, to to everything. I I believe the acting was really well. Was they chose a good variety of you know actors that just played well with each other, you mm -hmm. know, especially with Michael Caine and then you know uh, Mark. Um, Mark Strong. Mark Strong. Like Merlin. You know, that was really cool. Th those guys, they just work well. I don't know if it's their accent, like their Englishness, their gentleman well, I mean, like that <laughs> gentlemanness <laughs> and the English part definitely exactly. contributes to this film. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely one of the pros I had is just the, the style of the film and the theme of the film. I want to go back to Mark Strong, though, because mm -hmm. we always see Mark Strong as a villainous role. Like, he was a villain in Sherlock. He was... Um, Sinestro in Green Lantern, yeah, yeah, and it's just really cool to see him as, yeah, he's part of the kind team. of like that tough guy, mm -hmm. but it's very, very, very tiny in this film, yeah, yeah. and it, it it adds a nice layer to the caring, yeah, exactly, uh, character that he plays in this film. Mm -hmm. uh, but going back to what I was saying about my pros, I really love the storytelling, the theme, like the style of the characters. Uh, just the gentlemanliness. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. manner. Uh, Colin Firth said something uh, like manners make man. Or yeah. Some, some, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I remember that. I yeah, remember and then that. he just beats the crap out of an entire gang of kids. Uh, yeah. uh, it's fantastic. You know, uh, a lot of the uh, the younger actors they also played a big part in the in the movie. They the nailed film. it. They, uh, they especially really with the training it. scenes and stuff. Yeah. Those guys. I'm looking forward to seeing their, you know, their yeah. movies, their upcoming I, films in the future. Taron Egerton really did a f phenomenal job mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. as a young as a young kid uh, that no one knows. This is the only thing I know him from. Yeah. And he just really yeah. sold his character. Yeah, his whole transformation yeah. through the film. It was it was kind of great to see that. Yeah, and it was it wasn't so, you know, uh, you see it in a lot of films with this whole coming of age thing and yeah. and transformation and growing up and things like that and maturing. Mm -hmm. And uh, for his, it was just a lot of subtle instances that really were powerful. And I think that really developed the character really well. Yeah. yeah. Overall, the movie was just, it was fun. Just a fun yeah, movie it was to fun. watch. It was laughter, like, you know, every so often <clears throat> and there was action when there needed to be action you know there were serious moments a lot of serious moments but they weren't just like boring dull moments in the film there's always something and you were always you know looking forward to the next scene i want to take just a minute and talk about sophia butella uh oh <laughs> sophia oh my god sophia uh she plays the henchman of or henchwoman of Sam Jackson, mm. and she's a paraplegic. She is, but it's with so her her um again unexpected. Her, <laughs> again, again unexpected. Her uh, appendages, her fake appendages, <laughs> are like are s swords mixed in with it. Yeah, they're swords. And she's just I, when I saw it in the trailer, I was like, that's freaking ridiculous, like too ridiculous, like yeah, not. It's it looks it looks it dumb funny. in the trailers. Yeah. It looks funny. Yeah. But watching it, oh my god, it was she's super badass. She definitely had sexiness. She added more sexiness to the film, um, and a and a female aspect of it. And um, she definitely played one of the, one of the more underlying dominant roles too, you know, mm, alongside absolutely. Sam Jackson. Um, but she is so hot. She's so hot. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't she has care. no legs. I'll just, yeah. She could have no head. <laughs> well, that's too much. But... Well, guys, if you've seen the film, comment down below. We'll definitely talk with you about the film. There's probably things that we forgot to mention just because we're, you know, we're in the moment kind of throwing it out there. Uh, if 
stay tuned every Monday. We're going to try and get you out a review. Yes. Uh, it could be films that came out the week before or throwback films from months ago, years ago, anything that we actually feel like it. Yeah, yeah. But if there's specific films you really want us to review, leave a comment in below, down below, and send it to our Twitter at 50 underscore PG, or our Facebook, which is just 50 Productions. Oh, and follow us on our Instagram, yeah. uh, 50 underscore Productions. No matter, no matter what it takes to get to us, we want your feedback, we want to talk, we want to have this conversation. We love watching films, we love music, so, you know, like us, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye! bye.